Andre's Intermission Quickies. It's where I, Gilles Andre, interview some of the cast members from the smash hit musical Phantom of the Opera, sponsored by Hyperheat. That spray for those terribly, terribly aching muscles. <laughs> And now we meet a legend of the theatre. Please welcome the one and only Philip Griffiths. Hello, Philip. Good evening, Monsieur André. And how are you? I'm very well, actually. We're in the intermission of this yeah. evening's performance. How's it going? It's going fine. Very good performance. Now, you have seen quite a few performances. How many performances have you been in? No, actually, let's refrain that. How many years have you been doing the show? This is my 18th year. I joined Phantom of the Opera in 1980. In 1980? 1990. He didn't study maths at school, you see, in 1990. Well, that's wonderful. And, and, and for, for an actor to be in a show for that length of time, which is quite rare, how do you keep it fresh each night? Well, you know, the audience that comes to see the show see it for the first time. Mm -hmm. And it's our job to sell the show as if it's the first time for us as well. And that's really the skill of being a professional actor, really, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. It's called dedication. And what other shows have you been in before you came to Phantom, all those years ago? Uh, Evita, which was 1980. Mm -hmm. That's when I went to do Evita, 1980. And then I did Chess, mm -hmm. uh, Anything Goes, yes. and Phantom of the Opera. Those are the successful ones. I did two that were a bit papish. Uh, that was Kings and Clowns and Biograph Girl. Never heard of those. No, exactly. Really. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> now, Philip, you've also been a resident director mm. of this show. Tell the viewers at home, um, what's it like to be a resident director and what the job entails? Resident director looks after the show. He keeps the actors online to make sure that their plots are all right. He rehearses all the understudies. Just generally looks after the show, really. And I did that for two years, from 1998 to 2000. And the burning question, I think I know the answer to this, so no need to send in any postcard answers. Um, <laughs> what do you prefer? Do you prefer the acting side or the directing? No, I prefer the performing side. <coughs> Although, I, I mean, I did perform as resident director because I was understudying two roles as well, Monsieur Andre <laughs> and um, Piangi. Piangi? Now, yes. that must have been a challenging role. It was. It was indeed. I didn't suit the role physically. No. But I enjoyed the character. I bet you did. That's mm. wonderful. That's mm. great. Well, Philip, it's been an absolute delight uh, talking to you. Before you go, um, you've probably seen many casts come and go. Who was your favourite Andre? Um, Mark Winter. <laughs> Well, that's lovely. It's um, so special to talk to you. Do you have a message to our viewers of the Phantom of the Opera website? Yes. Keep coming to see Phantom. We love you all. Exactly. So next time we'll be interviewing the leading Carlotta, Wendy Ferguson. Please tune in for that. All the best from me, Gilles André, and Monsieur Ray. Goodbye. Philip Griffiths. <laughs>